All right, so new expansion, Verdant Conflict. Yeah. Um, a lot of new cards. Uh, definitely don't like this expansion that we have. <laughs> I really don't. The only thing I see is Elena's. And that's the only thing I don't like to see. All right, Elena's and like, you know, when the first six, like the first cards came out, we got Vengeance Blood. So hopefully, this would be a lot more interesting. I love Vengeance Blood. <laughs> okay, buddy. So. Okay. So we got two mana, one three, can detective. Put an investigation into your hand. Uh investigation is a two mana draw a card. Uh this guy th yeah, this guy is like a arena card or something. This guy's trash. Next we got Naturian Great Tree. Ooh. This is a token. Uh fan fear if any other trees are in play, randomly destroy one. Last word draw a card. And then, so I'm um in this expansion, most of the cards revol revolve around this card. Yeah. So th you you gotta watch out for these cards, right? But how do you stack them if you can't have more than one? That okay, we 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 we'll, we'll find out sooner, right? So we got Perry Campfire, restore two defense to a leader, put a tree into your hand, and change its cost to zero. Um, what? wait, isn't this like a Elena's buff? Yeah. This card, okay, you got you, you this card can add a tree to your hand, and then we got Desert Pathfinder. Last word, if there's no trees in play, summon a tree. Evolve, put a tree into your hand. Last word, if there's no trees in play, summon a tree. Hmm. So, this guy is probably your starter, you know what I mean? Because yeah. if there's no trees in play, you could summon this, uh, you could you, you get a tree, right? Mm -hmm. And then you definitely gonna play for the evil because you get a no tree to your hand. I mean, you probably like if you're running the tree deck, you probably need this guy. So yeah, you know, decent card, not bad. Yeah. Next, we got a Havencraft card, Talisman Sister. Put a random amulet from your deck into your hand. Ooh. And if you evolve it, it has Bane. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I don't think it's that good. <laughs> yeah, any of these cards okay. No one plays amulets. Like maybe if there's a good amulet deck. That is gonna come out, uh, maybe, you know. Next, we got Feather Folk Punisher. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you can see this new trait, Neutralia. N yeah. yeah, I don't know what that trait means or what it does. Whenever an ally amulet comes into play, deal one damage to enemy leader. Uh, oh, enemy leader. Whenever a tree comes into play, deal one damage to a random enemy follower. Ooh. Ooh. Doesn't tree also count as an amulet? Yeah, right. Yeah, she's an amulet, so she procs both of them. So it, it she does one damage to face and does real damage to a follower. That's pretty good. I, I still don't feel I, I still don't feel like this is gonna be Elena's. <laughs> okay. Next we got six mana five five. Crystallize. Countdown one. Um? Um, I don't know what crystallize means. Yeah, what the fuck is crystallize? Become an amulet? Is that what it means? <laughs> so I think crystal light means that you transform this card to an amulet instead of a spell. Because accelerate becomes a spell. So this guy's probably becomes an amulet. So it becomes a countdown one. Last word, banish a random follower. And this guy's normal last word is banish. Ah, this card's trash. I mean, it's good if you play the countdown because that's like a scripture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can play this for a scripture. Yeah, not bad. Scripture, you know. Ooh, next we got the Shadow Card Legendary. Ooh. Fanfare put a tree into your hand. Summon Necro. F yeah, we just called Necro Falcon, alright? <laughs> Whenever an allied tree is destroyed, summon a Falcon. Ooh, okay. What is the Falcon? Wait, 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 hold on. How much mana is the tree? One mana. So you got, you got to play this guy on six. Whenever an allied tree is destroyed, summon a Falcon. Okay, the Falcon is. A uh, three mana two one, rush. Last word after a round one of the ra w after a one of the following. Put a tree to your hand. Give plus one to a random ally follower. Or deal one damage to your random enemy follower. Huh. Hmm. Nah, you can't play this on six. Yeah, you can't play this guy on six. I mean on five or six. Cause you want to stack the trees in your hand right before you summon her because let's say i play, that, play this on turn nine i get to play i get three falcons bro that, that's kind of op 
Yeah, this card's pretty good, actually. Mm. If you can stack the trees, this card is actually pretty good. That's how the trees work. Yeah. If you want the trees, you get the Mm-hmm. And you get a free draw. That's not bad. All right. Next, we got Necroman. Tier 8, okay, whatever. Put a tree into your hand. If this is your fifth turn later, recover one play point. If this is your Whoa. What? Wait, this guy's a one mana. Do everything. Wait, this card is a lot of value. Wait, what was it called? Necromanticer Aider? <laughs> Something like that. Pretty much. You play a pass for turn five, you get a free tree. If you pla play a pass turn ten, you get to summon a monster and get a free tree. This card is good, very good. Next we got Nido Drag Dragonwit. Uh, the first Dragoncraft card. Fan free, select an enemy follower. If it's already damaged, deal three damage to it. If it has not been damaged, deal one damage instead. Eh, it's not bad. But I don't feel like Dragon needs these cards. <laughs> Dragon's a good deck. Like, 5 mana, you're probably just gonna play Galmune or something. Uh, yeah, okay, next we got... Ooh, the Dragon Legendary. Fanfare put a Shadow... What's it called? Corrosion. Corrosion, oh my bad. Corrosion in your hand. Bane? Oh, Evolve, you get Bane. Okay. Reduce all. Reduce the cost of all Shadow Erosions in your hand by 2. Shadow Rosen give your leader the following effect. At the end of the turn, deal X damage to enemy to the leader. X equals the ally of trees that have been destroyed this match. It's not stackable, but lasts for the rest of the match. If you play the other corrosion this match, randomly destroy enemy follower. Huh. If you get like 6 trees destroyed, mm -hmm. it does 6 damage at the end of every turn. To the leader? Yeah, to the leader. That's pretty good. <laughs> Wait a second, Burn Dragon Craft? This card is nutty. But the, I don't like the Evolve effect too much, the one that reduces the cost. Because what are the chances that you actually have more than two? Oh. I mean, you probably have this if you get if you go f turn one, like, you know what I mean? Like, turn one, if you go first, you play this guy on four, but you can play another one on five. You get I, I mean, yeah, you got Bane. Bane's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, the effect is hella good. I mean, I don't know how much trees you could stack in a single turn. Like, how much trees could get destroyed. Mana. What? One yeah, but how are you going to destroy all of them? No, because if you just keep playing it. But trees are token. How are you going to get tokens? What do you mean? Trees are token. So if you have, like, a lot in your hand, you can just play it, play it, play it, play it. Yeah, but how are you going to get the trees? That's what I mean. Uh, yeah, because like trees are, are just a token card right now. So uh, the golden card, last word, summon one tree. That's if you don't have a tree. So this is like your opening tree. So you get one tree from this guy. You get three trees from the parry campfire. And I, I haven't seen any other dragon cards yet. So next we got dragon chief. Restore one defense to your leader. If an ally anime is a Oh! Okay. This card is actually pretty nutty. This card is good. This card is very good. If you're playing with trees, this card is very, very good. True. You just, you heal three, and it's a three mana three three. So you play the two mana two two golden card. That card dies. You summon a tree. Summon this guy on three, and then you know heal three for free. That's nice. Um, now we got rune crap. What, what, nine mana one six storm. Oh, yeah. Okay, invocate. I just, what invocate? What? Why does she look like prophetess? Yeah, she really does, doesn't she? Yeah. Invocate. Start a return if X is at least seven. What was X? Her, I don't know. Put this card from your deck into play. Whenever this follower comes into play, gain X. X equals the number of ally of trees destroyed. Oh, trees. Uh, ally of trees that you played this match. So if you get seven trees destroyed this match, mm -hmm. she comes into play oh. from your deck. So it's an 8 6 storm. What? Oh, shit. Wait, how, many, how does Rune stack trees? Okay, now, now that's the only Rune card that got released. 
this card is pretty nutty. We gotta, we gotta, you know, you know, see the rest of the cards to, to actually confirm if this card is good. <laughs> now we got Mirror Image. Choose an ally, follower, and play. Summon a copy of it. Give it a rush. Banish at the start of your next turn. What the? Huh. Wait, let me think where it would be good. Right? I mean, we got like a, a card of last word. Oh, no, you can't. A card that has strike. That's the best thing I could think of. Uh, I mean, it's a two mana copy, like a six mana card or like a ten mana card. It might be good. Or, I don't know. Or like another fanfare. Fanfare? So, summon a copy of... No, no, I don't think it procs Fanfare. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, next we got the Sora Legendary. Beyond the Sol... S Sovener? S Sovener? Oh, whatever. Of <laughs> Light. Ward? Oh, this is a 4 out of 4 for Ward. That's good. Fanfare, give your leader the following effect. Whenever play points are restored through card effect, the first time on each of return, put a Knight's Might into your hand. Ward, recover one play point. So, when you evolve him, you get Knight's Might. So, it's a 4 mana... No, it's a 3 mana 6-6 six, six, you evolve him. So, Knight's Might is a give plus 1 to an ally follower. There's a tree in your hand. Tree in play, give plus 2 plus 1 instead. I'm not sure. I mean, there's not much Swordcraft, that re Swordcraft cards that recover play point, is there? It's only just Legendary right now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to find out if there's any more. Oh, no more. <laughs> so now we're out to the forest legendary. It's the stone claw. She's kind of cute. <laughs> Fanfare, there's at least two fairies in your hand. Deal four damage to enemy follower. Okay. Yeah. That's very good already. Fanfare, the allied trees in your play. Gain the ability to evo for free. Ooh. What? Evolve. Send. Oh, evolve. Put send. Send them packing into your hand. Send them packing is a four mana fan, four mana card. Randomly remove one remove all effects from one of the strongest enemy following play except changes to attack and defense and destroy. Add two number okay. Yeah, send them packing is not that good. But Evo for free is very good. <laughs> okay, next we got Ferdo Aider. Put a tree into your hand. Oh Double draw? Wait, this card is nuts. Yeah, this card is good. Yeah, I think these one mana card. I think every class is gonna have a one mana card that's gonna put a tree into your hand. Yeah, this card is pretty good. Next, we got Willy Puck. Four mana, three, four. Crystallize one, count down three. At the end of the turn, put a fairy into your hand. Fan fairy puts a fairy into your hand. Okay, whatever. Oh, with the new mini legendary. The one that. Plus one, plus one. You add a yeah. That could actually be really good. We do not know yet, but these are the current cards that got revealed. It's like, what? 20 something? Um, I like these new legendaries. What's Definitely more interesting than the, the other legendaries that we had. The brain dead OP ass legendaries, alright? These require more bigger brains. <laughs> well, hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys next time. Okay. Oh, peace.